time. Eric Bowling in for Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Let's get right to our top story. Is America more racially divided today than it was when President Obama took office? No one can deny that in the final moments of 2014, America witnessed an eruption of racial divide when grand juries in Ferguson, Missouri and Staten Island, New York decided not to charge white police officers in the deaths of unarmed black men. Protests broke out across the country and many leaders claimed that people of color experience injustice at the hands of law enforcement. In light of that, the president was asked this. Is the United States more racially divided than it was when you took office six years ago, Mr. President? Uh, no, I actually think that it's probably uh, in its day-to-day -day interactions less racially divided, but I actually think that the issue has surfaced in a way that probably is healthy. But according to the American people, that simply is not true. A new Fox News poll asked voters, since Barack Obama became president, do you think relations between the races in the United States have gotten better or worse? Only 19% say race relations have gotten better. 62% say they've gotten worse. 17% say they're about the same. So why does the president see things so differently than the American people. Joining me now to sort it all out is Fox News contributor Deneen Borelli and from Washington, Simon Rosenberg, founder of the New Democrat Network and a former campaign advisor to Bill Clinton. Deneen, I'm going to start with you. How can the president possibly say things are better now than six years ago? Ferguson, Missouri, uh, Oakland, California, across the country, all the way here to Staten Island, New York, protests all over the place, sure. better or worse? Well, what the president can't do is ignore the facts, and that is what he's doing. And when you look at Ferguson, for example, President Obama inserted himself into that issue. President Obama is part of the problem. He sent Eric Holder down there with 40 FBI agents. He, uh, Obama's speech before the UN, he made it an international issue as well when he said about race relations in America and, and agitation, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. But Obama is a part of the problem. There's also Al Sharpton, who, who's been in the White House over 61 times and has the ear of top officials in the White House, a known race baiter, which is absolutely outrageous. Simon, how, can you defend the president's comment that race relations in America are better now than when he took office? Look, the U.S. is going through an incredible transformation of our people. We're going from an overwhelmingly uh, white country to one that will be majority minority uh, by the time my kids are, are my age. And there are going to be bumps in the road in this transition. This is not going to be a simple, straight line. Are easy they better, Simon? Thing. Are they better I, now than when he took over? That, that was his claim. That, they're better now than when he took over. I think that what we know is that America has seen its first minority president, who on balance I think has done a pretty good job. And I think that we are seeing a different set of race relations than we had in the past. And I'm sure that if that poll was taken today, a month later, you know, during the, since that poll was taken, the the president's approval rating has gained 10 net points. He's gone up by 10 right. points. But he, so certainly I, I'm the just, country's I, I, not if, angry if you, at him. If you would just yeah. get to answering the question I just yeah. asked you, are racial relations better in America today, yeah. January 2nd, sure. or sure. when he took office January 9th, uh, January 20th, 2009? Where are they better? I think, I think they're better. I'm going to agree with the president. Okay, Deneen, um, I, I would say not. I would say Al Sharpton. You point out Al Sharpton yes. owes the American people four and a half million dollars. People are ticked off about that. Louis Farrakhan, just days before two officers were murdered here right in New York City, said a life for a life. How are things better now than they were then? No, it's, it's absolutely outrageous what we are seeing and witnessing and contributing to the social unrest. When you look in the black community with double digit unemployment and average incomes are lower, what you don't do is push policies that will make things worse for Americans, but especially with those numbers I just cited. Obama has an energy policy that's harming Americans, driving up electricity prices. These are the things you don't do. And Obama had the opportunity as a lawyer to talk about waiting for facts to come out on these certain cases. And he really jumped the gun and made matters worse. Simon, uh, one of the other things that has gone on under President Obama's watch is income inequality in America has widened. And it's yeah. widened in, at, at the expense, let's say, of the lower class. And a lot of time, African-American families are seeing less income uh, movement upwards than the top end. So this is one of the things he also promised. That can't help race relations in America either. No, I, I think it's contributing to people's... Uh, 
you know, the struggle of everyday people is contributing to some of this conflict. But again, if you go back and look at the polling over the last couple of months, you have your poll. There are other polls showing it far more balanced, and the president's approval rating is going way up. The country is far more satisfied. Simon, that's not what we're, we're no. not uh, talking about. The president's approval rating. No, no, we're we, talking we, about we, how are race relations in America now? The are you just the, repeating what the president said because no. you want to repeat what he said, or do you Eric, honestly no, Eric, believe Eric, things are better now when you look back over the last couple Eric, of weeks versus six years ago? Eric, the country is clearly in far better shape than it was six years ago, and I think that you know. When when he took office, and I think people are giving him credit for that, right? I think that if you look at the economy and how things are improving, yes, Double for African American unemployment community, in the black community, unemployment is too high. Better? It's too high. It's too high. We Unbalanced, have a president the who is pushing is, the narrative that our country yeah. is racist. We have racism that's rampant in America, and that's just just not true. And that is what's adding to the social unrest. Obama has missed a great opportunity to unite our country. He's playing the race card. It's a dangerous thing to do. Do. We've witnessed it with individuals who are coming out against the police force. My goodness, what you don't do is pit Americans against our law enforcement and pit Americans against white versus black. Simon? I don't think that's what the president's been doing. I think he's been very measured in how he's handled this. He's aware that these are primarily local issues where communities have to work through right. them. Okay, themselves. so let me ask you this. Then. Yeah. Let me ask sure. you this. What's your opinion of, of Al Sharpton? Do you think he's good for I, race I relations? I don't think that's. I don't think that's relevant. It, it, well, he really is. Here's why it's relevant. Here's why it's relevant. We're talking about it's the president. Point We're here to talk about the president, and in ge and we, that's what the segment is about, right? And I think that. Well, okay. On Fair balance, enough. Hold on. Think, Hold on, then, yeah, for sure. a second. Okay. If, but if Al Sharpton sure. is visiting the White House some 60 or 70 times over the last few years, and if Al Sharpton has claimed himself that he's going to be part of the process for race relations in America, even part of the process in picking the next attorney general, which is, is what he said, don't right. you think it matters that, to the American people whether or not that man, who is as, as race vehement and vitriolic right. as, they, as they come in America, visits the White House and our president? And the new rep incoming um, majority whip for the Republicans, you know, spoke to a so Ku Klux Klan and a race betting group. Typical. This is a complicated set of issues. This is a difficult no, it's not top, set it's of issues. Go ahead, explain it to me. No, we want to hear from you. How many times do we have to ask? Obama is in, in, inserting himself in these issues, and he is. I, I totally the race disagree. I disagree. I think America. the president, he's the president of the United States. He's been difficult issues. I think he's been very measured at his engagement on, this, on these matters over the last right. several months. He is the president. He should be involved. He shouldn't pull back. I think he's been very dexterous in the way that he's been invo gotten involved in this. But clearly, we've got work to do. Okay. The country all right. has not resolved all, right. all these you know issues. What? We can get to a better place. Let's work on it together. Let's Let's do that. Call each other names. Let's be yeah. united instead of divisive. Let's leave it at that. Deneen yeah. Simon, thank you very much.